North Korea has not released any reports recently through its propaganda outlets. And in a very rare move, the regime recalled its ambassadors to China, Russia, and the UN. Wu Zhenghe takes a closer look. Is North Korea reviewing its strategies on nuclear negotiations? Last week, Pyongyang's propaganda outlets released reports almost every day urging the U.S. to change its stance. The reports stressed the regime is still up for complete denuclearization, but called for a multi phased approach to it, saying there's no better deal than the one it had proposed at the summit. The North further pinned down its position last Friday through a press conference by its vice foreign minister, threatening to end negotiations unless Washington gives in. Since then, the regime has released no reports about denuclearization. With such silence going on for almost a week, Pyongyang's ambassadors to China, Russia, and the UN have all returned to North Korea on Monday. Such trips are quite rare. It is possible that their return is to attend an annual meeting of overseas diplomatic mission chiefs. But some observers point out that the regime could have recalled its envoys to realign its tactics on nuclear negotiations with the U.S. and on how to deal with international sanctions. China, Russia, and the U.N. all play a key role in U.N. Security Council discussions on international sanctions. North Korea is keeping its eyes on the U.S. response and at the same time is looking for ways to deal with it. The regime is refraining from making additional official remarks or provocations. Since the Hanoi summit, the U.S. has been stressing that it looks to strike a one-shot deal with North Korea, while the North has claimed that the two sides should exchange actions and rewards. With the two sides in a standoff, the North seems to be in an analysis mode, working on strategies. Wu Zhongyi, Arirang News.